Criminal justice is not responsible for your PC and or game files. Always monitor your own risk. I also recommend backing up your game files before following this tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the show. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we are back with another LSPDFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that are fighting for our freedom. God bless our veterans. And God bless Israel. So today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install EUP Law and Order, EUP Menu, EUP Serve and Rescue, and also the police menu guys, okay? So, um, if you've been following my tutorials, you should have open... <coughs> Sorry guys, I've been drinking Coca-Cola. Um, if you've been following my tutorials guys, you should have uh, open IV install with the mods folder ready the way it's supposed to go. If you do not, okay, if you do not... I have links in my description, if you can see it right there, in my, that's my description, okay? Uh, there's one for how to install OpenIV for Epix, how to install OpenIV for Steam, uh, how to install EUP for Steam, and how to create a mods folder in the Steam version, okay? So, but for those who've been following my tutorials on, this, on the Epix version, you should already have your mods folder ready to go, all right? So, here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and click our link down there. It's going to bring us to this page right here. Emergency Uniform Packs Law and Order 8.1. This is the latest version of EUP. Okay, so what we want to do, guys, we're going to scroll down, and we're going to click Download This File right here. All right. And my computer's been acting kind of funky today, so just bear with me, guys. But this is going to give you a uh, police uniforms. It's going to give you uh, the Serve and Rescue. The Law and Order will give you police uniforms and stuff like that. The serve and rescue will give you firefighter outfits, EMT, stuff like that. Uh, what do you want to do with EUP? Guys, just save it somewhere where you know how you're going to get to it. I don't care where you put it, just as long as you know how to get to it, okay? So the, this button here, uh, we'll put it in your downloads folder. And if you click save as, you can put it where you like, okay? Let me cancel that out. And then on to the next one, guys, going to be EUP menu. And this is actually going to allow you to pull up your EUP in-game, okay? So let's scroll down. And click download this file right here. If I can get my my arrow to work, is it gonna is it gonna work? Let me click out and then go back. And if it does not, then yes, yeah, so let me recover the web page. So hang on just a second, guys. Let me get this uh, let me get this figured out. I don't know why why my computer's acting weird, but just give me a second here, guys. All right, here we go. So again, guys, click the download this file right here for the EUP menu. I'm going to show you guys step for step how to install this stuff. It's it's actually quite easy. It's not hard at all. Um, there's no specific order you have to go in when, when you're installing EUP. Not to my knowledge. I've installed it every which way but loose, and it's always worked for me. So um, we're going to wait on that little thing to pop up down here. Wherever it is. Come on, come on, come on. There it is. Guys, again, save it where you know how to get to it. Okay. And uh, let's click out of that. On the next one, guys, going to be our serve and rescue. This is going to be your firefighter outfits, uh, your EMT, your your uh, lifeguard outfits, um, beach patrol, all that good stuff. So scroll down, ladies and gentlemen, and click download this file right there. And again, it's going to pop up. Let me close out of that. The thing annoys me so bad, I can't stand it. Guys, I hope you've been enjoying the Outlast live stream. We're going to be going in, uh, live again tonight at... Uh, 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. So we'll be picking up from where we left off on that. And this thing will ever fire up. There it is. Got. Again, guys, save it where you know how to get to it. You save it to your downloads or whatever, but just somewhere where you know how to get to it, okay? And then last but not least, guys, we're going to be installing these police beanies. These are really cool, guys. Uh, this is your police beanies. Whenever you want to take a look at it, you can, but I'm going to be taking you in the game and showing you how this works. So um, let me close out that ad. It's so annoying. All right, so click download this file right here, guys, just like that. And again, guys, once that little thing pops up, just, you know, save it somewhere where you know how to get to it, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this, all right? And you are going to need your GTA 5 main directory. This is for Epic's version, the Epic's version of GTA 5, okay? GTA 5 main directory, and you're also going to need OpenIV. Like I said, if you do not have this stuff... If you don't have a mods folder like this right here and everything copied, I've got links in the description showing you how to do that, okay? And if you do not have OpenIV, I have a link down that down there for that as well, okay? The first thing we're going to do, guys, we're going to pull up our EUP Law and Order WinRAR. We're going to open that up. 
All right, and you're going to see three files right here. The two files we're going to need is the EP uh, LNO 8.1 and the plugins folder. Okay, so pull up your GTA 5 main directory, just like this. You're going to grab this plugins folder right here, guys, and grab it into your main directory, drag it, and drop it just like that. Okay, and there it is. All right, and then minimize your open IV. Grab this EUP LNO 8.10 IV, bring it to your desktop, and drag and drop it just like that. All right, you can close out of that, get rid of your shortcut, okay? And then you want to pull up your open IV, all right? And then right here, guys, where these three little dots are, see it says open package installer, click that, all right? Now you want to go, to go to where to you, where you drop the OIV file, which is going to be on your desktop right here. Okay, and then double click on EUP Law and Order 8.1. Okay, you're going to click Install and select the Mods folder. Do not select the Game folder. If you select the Game folder, I'm gonna smack you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but seriously, if you select the Game folder, it's it's gonna mess up your game, guys. Don't do that. Select the Mods folder. Always put it in the Mods folder, guys. Select Mods folder. Select confirm installation. I'm just kidding, guys. But uh, yeah, you always want to put stuff like this into the mods folder because uh, if you put in that game folder, man, it's gonna mess everything up. It's just just a waste of time. So it mess everything up, man, really bad. So once this finish is finished installing, it should say installation succeeded. Uh, if it does not say installation succeeded, then you might want to back up a few steps and see what you did wrong. Uh, but as long as you're following this tutorial step for step, guys, you should have no problem. So right there it is, installation succeeded. All right, click close, minimize your open IV, open up your EUP menu, and open up your GT5 main directory, all right? Now inside your WinRAR, you're gonna click on files, and then grab this plugins folder right here, drag it, and drop it into your main directory, all right? Just like that. Close out of that, get rid of your shortcut, and then open up your EUP serve and rescue, minimize your uh, directory, and grab this EUP SNR 1.3, grab it, pull it to your desktop, and drop it just like that, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, actually get rid of this one because I don't need, we don't need that no more. All right, so what you wanna do now is go ahead and close out of your WinRAR, get rid of that shortcut, we're done with it. Now pull up your open IV. Again, click those, um, click those three dots right there for the open package installer, click those. You wanna select your desktop, double click on EUP SNR, Okay, select install, the mods folder is what you want, and then install, confirm installation, okay? Now this right here, guys, like I said, is your um, your EMT uniforms, your lifeguard outfits, your firefighter outfits, um, even when, and this is really good to have, especially if you're using coastal callouts, because it also has um, United States Coast Guard outfits in there, too. So close out of that, guys, we got that done. Um... And let's minimize our open IV, and I'm going to get rid of this right here. And I'm going to go ahead and clean out my, uh, woo, man, look at all that stuff. That's, I've been using, uh, building my modded folder, guys, on GTA 5, so I have a lot of stuff in there. Let's get rid of that. And uh, let's see what we need to do now. So our police beanies, guys. Now, when you open this folder, guys, go ahead and open it up. When you open it up, it's going to open, and you're going to have to double-click this file right here again. All right? And it's going to open up the actual file. Now, open up your Open IV. Oh, by the way, go to your main directory, and I'm going to show you guys something. Double click on your plugins folder. You should have an EUP folder here inside your plugins folder, and you should have an EUP.dll. Okay. If you double click inside your EUP folder, all you're going to have is preset outfits right now. But once you run the game, and then you come back and go to it. It should have preset outfits, settings, wardrobe, that type of thing. It'll have a wardrobe once you start creating your outfits. Okay. So refresh your directory, guys. I just want to show you that real quick and close out of your directory. We are done. All right, now in OpenIV, you're going to open up the installation text on the police beanie hats, okay? I'm going to show you guys how to do this, all right? Because these these readmes are good, man. They, they show you exactly where to go. So what you want to do, guys, right here, installation. This is where we are. In OpenIV, we are going to navigate. We are going to navigate to our mods folder. Then what does it say? Update. Time 64, DLC packs, and you want to select EUP right there, and then DLC.RPF. Oh, yeah, guys, make sure that your edit mode is on. Make sure that's on. And then after DLC, you're going to select Time 64, and then you want the EUP. Make sure you have the right one, guys. 
the EUP underscore component pads underscore P dot RPF. So it's going to be this one right here. Don't get that one. If you do, you're going to mess it up. You want the EUP underscore component pads underscore P dot RPF. Okay. Open that up. All right. Now we can close out of this. Now here's what you want to do, guys. You just want to grab. Don't open it. Okay. Do not open that file. You just want to grab this right here. All right. You're going to drag it into your open IV just like this. And you're going to drop it just like that. Okay. Y'all like how I looked at you and dropped that like that. <laughs> All right, guys. And that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and uh, let me make sure of one thing here, guys, just to make sure. Uh, let's go to hats, beanie hat thing, uh, which is for me is around 121. Okay, so I want to make sure I knew where the beanie hats were, okay? So let's go ahead and close out all this <clears throat> and get rid of that shortcut. And then go to your open IV and click your edit mode once more. And then so select close all archives. It closes everything in there. Close your open IV, guys. And um, I'm pretty sure I can go into the game here because I am using OBS. So let's go ahead and fire up the game. So here's what you want to do, guys. When you fire up the game, when you first install EUP, you're going to have to install it through the Rage settings, okay? So what you're going to do, guys, since we are using, since we are using the, um, the Epics game version, what you want to do is first, don't open up your Epics game launcher yet, okay? Um, click your Rage. And hold down the left shift immediately. Just hold it down. <clears throat> okay? Because this has to be done through the uh, Rage settings. Alright? And I'm going to show you why. Alright? So once this is up, guys, go ahead and go to your plugins. And go to load these plugins on startup. Now you see down here where it says EUP menu? That has to be loaded through your, your, your settings on here. Okay? And once you get to load, all, load these plugins on startup, go ahead and click check all. Alright? That checks everything in the menu. Go back and check and click on load all plugins on startup. Now, before we launch this, guys, let's go ahead and open up our Epic Game Launcher because there's a certain way you have to launch uh, GTA 5 from the Epic Game Launcher and to do your LSP at the same time. So if you want Rage to hook, you have to do it like this. If you know of any other way, go ahead and do it. But as far as, as I know from my knowledge, the way that I know to launch this and the way it works for me is um, you have to go in, launch your GTA 5, and then you have to launch your um, then you have to launch your uh, your rage. So it's saying it's already running. So what I need to do is this. So um, let's go ahead and exit this, and then let's wait for that to quit running. All right, now so you want to click launch on GTA 5. All right, go ahead and click yes. All right. And then once your Rockstar launcher pops up, you can exit this and then click the Rage right there. All right, and it's still going to load as it should. All right, so Rage is trying to fire up. It, it, it'll, it'll do it, guys. It just, it just takes a minute. But it's trying to fire. You'll see it pop up in a second. There it comes. All right, so what you want to do is launch your game, your GTA 5, from your Epic's game launcher. And then once you see that Rockstar Launcher pop up, you want to close out of the Epic Game Launcher and launch Rage. Now once the game fires up, Rage should hook, okay? It should hook to it. So I do not have my drink in here. I was really hoping to have a drink in here. I thought I had it. I think I might have left it in the other room. All right, guys, so give this just a minute. And you'll know if Rage hooks because when the game pops up, you see the lights and sirens, Rage will will kind of veer over to the left and drop down. So that's how you know it hooked. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the content uh, so far this week. Now, if you get this window right here, guys, just go ahead and click no. If you get that window asking for script hook V update, just click no. All right. And there it goes. That is going to be it, guys. That's going to be us. And I forgot to set my sound to headphones. So my sound is coming through my speakers. I'm sorry about that, guys. If you guys hear that that's thunder outside uh, my house, it's, uh, it's pouring down rain out there. I totally forgot to set myself on the headphones, so um, I'm just actually going to uh, go like this right here. I think you guys can still hear me. That way I can hear my game sound. Uh, but I do want to make sure I'm getting game sound, so give me just a second, guys. Um, I'm trying to get back to my window. Give me just one second here, guys. All right, now let me close out of that. 
and then pull up my OBS and make sure I'm getting game sound, in-game sound. I don't think I am. I don't think I'm getting in-game sound. I don't think I am. Well, that stinks. All right, guys, so I'll see you inside the game because I have to fix this. All right, guys, so once we are in the game here, we're going to head outside our apartment here. And I'm going to show you um, how the CEP menu works. And there's two ways you can do this, guys. If you're using controller, um, if you don't, of course, if you have your controller set to default, you're going to hit A and left thumbstick at the same time. That will bring up your menu. Uh, or you can hit F11 on the keyboard. That will also bring up your menu. And you can go to your uh, wardrobe. It's not going to have anything in there until you create outfits. Uh, here's your EEP Law & Order, guys. There's your outfits right here for uh, Los Santos Police Department. Yeah, there's your motorcycle outfits. Now I'm going to show you guys how to actually create an outfit. We're going to go to uh, we're gonna go to San Andreas Highway Patrol. And where is the... Uh, all right, so this is what we want right here. I personally like the Blaine County outfit. This is actually what I'm going to pick. So we'll pick the Blaine County. Now, what you want to do, guys, if you want to create an outfit, like save this outfit, go back, go back again, go up to wardrobe, and hit create outfit. Now, you're going to want to name this something, guys. So I'm just going to put BCSO. All right. And then put, uh, you can just put patrol if you want. It's up to you guys. And then hit enter to save it. Now down here, guys, you can adjust your hat. Um, you can uh, change the color on it, all that good stuff. Now, in this situation, guys, I'm going to show you how to put on your police beanie. So you're going to scroll to hats and scroll all the way over to um, 121. I think it might be quicker if we go backwards. So let me see. Let's see here. Yeah, it's going to be quicker if we go backwards. We're going to go back to 121 and your police beam should be there. Alright. Now, once you're at the police beam, guys, you're going to hit the 4 to go left and 6 to change the textures on the go right. There's the, uh, there's one of your police beanies there. There's police. Police, police. LSPD. LSPD. There's the, uh, thin blue line flag. And there's your sheriff. Sheriff beanies. And San Andreas Highway Patrol. And I think that's just about it for those police beanies, guys. You see the pack was very small. So that is it. We're actually going to put on a... Um, do they have Blaine County? <clears throat> I'm not sure if they did or not. I'm trying to look at my guy here. So I'm actually just going to put on one that says... Uh, uh, we'll put on one that says uh, Sheriff, and we'll do, we'll do a black one right there. Okay. So once you get that done, guys, you get on your glasses and choose your glasses as well. Um... I always pick the aviators, of course, and then, of course, you can change it with the six and the four and the textures as far as that goes. Uh, here's, like, for your earpieces and stuff. This is, a, if you want a watch on your wrist, there's a watch. Of course, it's not going to show up good on a long sleeve. Uh, mask you can put on. Uh, look at there. Is that going to be in a pig mask Attention for a cop? Attention unit one, Adam All seven. Right. Citizens report. A driver under the influence in... All right. You can change uh, your pants. You can put on a parachute. West. You can change your shoes, your shoe collar. Uh, your accessories is like your gun on your side, so I'm going to go back too because I always do that. It puts the gun completely on the side. Uh, undercoat is going to be like your taser on your side. If you want to hit your six and four, that will change the color of your taser. Or you can change your uh, undercoat there. It will go to different types of things. Uh, armor, of course, you know what armor is. That's kind of self-explanatory. Um, you got uh, your armor for your vest. Uh, so you got these right here. And you can change those with the six and the four to uh, go back and forth there, whichever kind of vest you want. Um, I, I really like the vest. I think they're really cool. And then if you go more to the right, um, there's more here. Here's your uh, traffic vest right here for your traffic. There's your Blaine County right there. Uh, but if you want the... And there's another one right here, guys. You can change these as well. There's a K9 uh, vest for you right there. And there is... Uh, Blaine County uh, K9 Patrol right there. Now, if you want the um, the walkie-talkie up on your shoulder, this is how you do it. Just go to armor and go over to 14, and right there, it's on your shoulder. If you go to 15, it goes to the middle. 14 puts all this. I'm going to save mine like that. And then decals is like patches on your arms, like your marine patches and stuff like that. Uh, I don't do that because I haven't served in the military. Um, and then tops, of course, is your shirt. Uh, and then uh, click save and continue. And you now have your first outfit, guys, and there it is.
So to make this a little bit more uh, realistic, I'm actually going to uh, I'm actually going to change the weather here a little bit. All right. Well, I didn't mean to do that. We are going to put the snow in, and we are going to put um, going to put snow. See that, guys? That look cool. Can do blizzard. Or can just do regular snow like that. Um, I personally like the blizzard because it brings the snow down really hard, so it makes it look more legit. There is outfits on here, guys, where you can put coats in your character and stuff like that. Um, but that is pretty much it, guys, for the police beanies and your EUP. Oh yeah, let me show you one more thing. Your EUP serve and rescue, guys. Pull your menu back up. Now this is your firefighter outfit, stuff like this. There's your full firefighter gear. All right. And then there's also uh, EMT outfits. Here's your EMT. Just like that. It's really cool stuff, guys. There's so much stuff in the EUP menu. Here's your United States Coast Guard outfits, guys, I was telling you about. Okay. There's your United States Coast Guards, which I use these on uh, my coastal callouts, uh, which I'm going to be doing some episodes on that pretty soon, guys, when I get the hang of it. It takes a lot of work to learn how to do that stuff. It really does. Here's your National Guard outfits, uh, parking enforcement. So it's just endless amounts of stuff, guys. Um, and then if you want to change back your outfit, go back to your wardrobe and click on one of your saved outfits. And there it is, guys. There is your LSP of our tutorial for the day, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, let me get around here. Uh, thank you all for tuning in, guys. Make sure you check out my, my links in the description below for the how to install OpenIV for Steam and Epics, uh, how to create a mods folder. Um, and there was another one down there, too, but it'll be in the description below, guys. I can't remember what it was. Uh, <laughs> I, I forget a lot of stuff, guys. Calling unit so one out of seven. We've got an go emergency the and get me in need of a police cruiser. In Vinewood. All right, and I think we have. We do not have e. Women. Let me hit my scroll lock. If you guys get down on the side that says Copy EOS back. key lock active, all you have to do is push your scroll lock, and then your EOS will be fixed. Okay. All right. So guys, thank you all so much for tuning in, guys. Check out my YouTube brothers and sisters in the description below um they are down there go subscribe to their channels and, unit one out of seven. We've got and make sure you show them some love guys subscribe to my West channel West. if you have not already done so and slap a like on this video for me guys i would greatly appreciate it i uh, love y'all so much until Copy next time god bless take care stay in prayer love one another and peace out get out the way get out the way Move. Move. Peace out, guys.